Hey hi friends welcome back to the our channel in this video i will just demonstrate how you monitoring this any breeze here i use this ultrasonic scsr04 sensor and one float sensor and the reading will be display 16 by 2 lcd display as well as this blink cap now let's go and start to make this project first require this few component one is the esp8266 microcontroller board float sensor AC90 servo motor SCSR04 ultrasonic sensor 16 by 2 LCD display with I2C module Let's go and design the circuit diagram First we arrange all this component and do this connection one by one This circuit diagram available in this video description if you want then please check out Now set up this blink app. First we log in this blink app and create this new template IoT app. Go to this device, select this new template IoT app and save it. See the authentic key is the very important when, when you do this code. Just select this one gauge and two indication light. Edit this gauge name is water level create data stream choose virtual pin select the minimum and maximum value change this color and save it edit this LED name is normal choose virtual pin select this color and save it edit this LED name is over overflow and select this virtual pin change this color and save save and apply go to the setting Copy this template name and authentic key. Just go to this code and paste it here. See, authentic key is required. Now see this hardware. We design a one zero PCB and put all this component one by one like Node MCU microcontroller board, SCSR04 ultrasonic sensor, SC90 servo motor, float sensor. Now the hardware will be completed. Okay, before you uploading this code, first you require to this install this board. I am the ESP8266 board. You just copy this link. The link available in this video description. If you want, then please check out. Just go to this Arduino ID. Go to this setting. You just copy and paste this link here. Okay, and press this OK button. Again, go to this tools. Go to this board. Go to this board manager and type. ESP8266 and see the ESP8266 board is available how you install this board in my case I already install okay just go to this tools again select this proper board now see this code First we open this Arduino ID software and you required to install this view library. Just follow this step. See I put this authentic key and SSID and password properly. Float sensor will be connected to pin number D7. Trigger and echo pin connected to this D6 and D5. In fire setup, welcome to this LCD message. In wide loop, we call to this ultrasonic function and uh, edit this all the servo motor condition when is the zero and when is the 180 degree rotation. Ultrasonic sensor, we take this reading and display in this LCD as well as this blink cap. Okay, now go to this tool, select this proper board and hit this compiling button. Code will be compiled. Let's see this working of this project. When I put my hand to this near of this ultrasonic sensor, the label will be changes. And when I put this float sensor in this upside, I mean is going to this high, then LED will be indicate in the red symbol and the servo motor rotate in this 180 degree. When I release this float sensor, the LED indication is the green and the servo motor rotate in this 0 degree.
the LCD will be display the same things. Water level. See the LCD will display this low alerts. Water level. When I put this hand near of this ultrasonic sensor, the level will be changes. When the float sensor will be high, the red indication light will be display overflow and the servo motor close to this gate. When I release it, the green LED is normal and the servo motor rotating in 0 degree. I hope you like this video and if you like it, please hit the like button, share with your friends. If you are new in my YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit this bell icon to get notification first. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.